Welcome to our Golden Eagle Spotlight interviews here on GoMarquette.com. I'm Chris Galky, and I'm joined by Dave Singleton of the Marquette basketball team. Now, Dave, you're coming as a transfer from High Point. You had a couple different schools looking at you, but you ultimately decided on Marquette. What factored into that decision to come here? Um, uh, I took a visit maybe early May and um, got a chance to come out and visit the college and uh, get to see the scenery and see how the life is up at Marquette. And uh, got the chance to play with the guys. I felt uh, comfortable. So that, um, I felt that I, I did okay. You know, I could get better in certain uh, situations that I had the ball in. But uh, overall, I just felt that it was a good fit, good coach. I had a um, chance to talk and sit down with the coach and uh, really just get a feel for him. And the way he, um, that he talked to me and approached me, it was just, like, so different. And it was real comforting. He didn't really come at me on a basketball aspect. Kind of came at me on a different different type of look than any other coach ever can um, approach me on. So I just felt that it was a comfortable fit, and I felt that um, if I work hard, and um, I could make a name for myself out here. Well, speaking of coaching, your coach that recruited you at High Point is you know Bart Lundy. He's now the director of basketball operations yeah. here. Did that play in any part of your decision to come here? That made it. That made it. That made it a little bit more like of a, a more comfortable because I I'm so far away from home. Um, and Coach Lundy, I was under. I mean, I was like he recruited me at High Point, so I felt that he was giving me a, a um, good information and and. Uh, just help. He he basically helped me uh, make a better decision to come out here. Now, basketball wise, you're a guard. Is there a certain style of basketball you like? The fast game, a slower game. Is there a certain style that bodes well with you? Um, I kind of like the fast game. Um, just getting up and down, playing D, and um, just uh, yeah, just like I'm. Like, they call it kind of say I'm a crafty type guard, mm-hmm. and uh, I just like to get the ball and go. Now, similar to your teammate, Jamil Wilson, coming in as a transfer, you're going to have to sit out the following, you know, this coming basketball season. Is that going to be tough on you, or is that something you can kind of look at to kind of grow as a player for the following season? Uh, no, um, it's kind of tough because I'm an athlete, and uh, I like to com- uh, compete and, hope, I mean, like, you know, play against different competition. And um, But coming from the Big South to the Big East is – it's just a major step, and I think I need to sit out here just so I can see and and develop my game into um, a Big East player. You know, right as of right now, um, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm seeing all the aspects and and what I have to do to um, become a better player for the Big East, and um, seeing what I got to do to contribute to the team. Um, but no, I don't think it's gonna be. A, a, bad decision to sit out. Um, me and Jamil are kind of close, so we can actually just sit on the sideline and, and talk and see what different things will work and what don't work. So, no, nah, I actually need to sit out here. Now, you're coming. Now, you mentioned a big East slide. You're coming to that conference. You I, you played against it a few times at High Point. Is that is that something, too, that brought you in playing at a better conference here at Marquette? Uh, yeah, because um, I played a couple, you know, high-level um Competition at High Point, we played uh, South Florida. That's actually in the Big East, and we played NC State. And I understand that uh, Marquette played NC State. So, and I did uh, pretty well. I played the point there, uh, majority of the minutes with Coach Lundy at the point guard spot. And um, I just felt that uh, I held my own when we played them. And um, I just, I just felt that if I can play, I mean, come to the Marquette and just keep on working hard and. and getting better and seeing all the different things that could work and can't work then. This guy's the limit. Now something a lot of non basketball wise, something a lot of people might know about you. You're a picky eater, I've been told. <laughs> Chicken tenders and fries. Can you yes, tell us a little sir. bit about that? Well, uh, when I was three, um, I was diagnosed with a uh, lactose intolerant and uh, allergic to all dairy products. And um, I'm allergic to bread so a lot of guys kinda of pick on me about not eating um, certain type foods or certain foods that they eat, but uh, I like to keep it to a minimum. You know, chicken fingers, fries, hamburgers. I take the bun off of everything. Um, spaghetti, just any meat. And I'll, uh, my favorite meal is cereal. <laughs> all right, so you get up in the morning and eat every, every morning cereal? Yeah, cereal all the time. We go to Walmart and get about six boxes. 
right, nothing with the bottom. Thanks a lot, Dave, for joining us. Thanks for joining us for this Golden Eagle Spotlight interview here on GoMarquette.com.